Welcome to Tech Brother with Damir. In this video, we are going to learn how to create block report with subtotals by using Report Wizard. First of all, we need to understand what is block report. So let me take you to the one of the report I have created. Here, if you see that this is a block report where the group value is right here, and then the detail values are starting at the same row, and then we want to have subtotal for each of the group uh, that's in in this case we have Asia Europe and uh, North America let me compare this report to the stepped report so if we open the stepped report the stepped reports were the reports of where the group value was in the row, one row and the, then details were coming right next to that row so that's the difference in the blocked you will have the detail values starting at the same row where our group value is now let's uh, go ahead and create a new project and uh, create this uh, report uh, open ssdt sql server data tools uh, once uh, the ssdt is open go to file new and uh, create new project uh, we are creating ssrs uh, uh, project so we'll be selecting reporting services uh, and here uh, provide the name i'm going to call this one uh, wizard reports and uh, let's call this one wizard reports training and now the solution name uh, I'm going to add a solution at the end and uh, we could have a uh, create the report server project wizard and that will initiate uh, or start uh, the report wizard right away but uh, I'm gonna create an empty project uh, and then uh, initiate or start uh, the report wizard so I'm creating a report server project uh, it okay now once uh, the report uh, project is ready what we can do we can go ahead and uh, on the reports tab right click and add new report here our report wizard is uh, started next and now we have to tell uh, which data source to use see the shared data source is grayed out as we do not have any shared data source we have to create one so i'm going to call this one let's call this one as sales or sale let's call this one as sales now here you have to provide uh, uh, select the type in our case we are selecting the data or extracting the data for this report from SQL Server so fine hit edit or you can write your connection string by yourself uh, here you will be selecting SQL Server name and then uh, you will be selecting the database from where your uh, table uh, or the store procedure you are going to use uh, hit ok and uh, let me show you in our case uh, we are using a total sale uh, table uh, from the sales database uh, and uh, we have some uh, region here and then we have country state and city and some items and product name and first name last name for the customers uh, now we will take this query and use this one so we copy this query come back and here we are going to go to the next step before we go to next step well, let's make this uh, data source as a shared so other reports can use uh, if we could create in the same project hit next and here you will be providing the query so provide the query if you are using store procedure you will you will be saying execute store procedure name and in my case I'm using select query hit next and this report is going to be tabular report but we will be adding some more features to it so here we have tabular report and in the group what I want I want the region once I select the region the group this is how it will be looking see the yellow part here and then other columns will be coming to the detail I'm not interested to select all the columns this time I had been selecting so I'm gonna just select few of them first name last name product name and item sold and uh, sold price and uh, maybe city state and country um, okay I, I leave the sold date we have done formatting and everything in the other report hit next now here we have option stepped or block in our case we are going to go ahead and create uh, the block report this time uh, and uh, when we click on the block uh, it does not give us uh, the drill down uh, option when we click uh, on the stepped it give us the option to drill uh, down uh. so if you see the report uh, what I showed you here in the last time you can't really uh, it doesn't really make sense uh, because it is uh, selecting here and uh, um, in the step it makes sense because each uh, line uh, th this part is uh, empty and th that's where you can put the subtotals and drill down but and the, uh, the records are starting uh, right next to it if you have block uh, the records are starting right next to uh, the re group uh, so uh, drill down is not really gonna work great here so that's why they didn't have it the option now 
what we have here when we have block we can include subtotals that's good now we are good let's uh, check uh, what format we want to use let's uh, go with the maybe ocean this time next and now we will give a name to this report let's call this one block uh, subtotal and uh, to to and sale and uh, let's preview the report finish At this point, uh, we, it is uh, preparing the report for the preview. So it is extracting the data, loading the data right now. And we can see that uh, the report is ready. And Asia is coming here and details uh, are coming right next to it. Uh, and uh, if you go back here in the total, we have a subtotal uh, by the Asia region. Uh, and then uh, we have the total uh, sold price for that region. And the same, uh, we have a total for each of the region uh, for America. And North America and Europe as well now if we want to deploy this report uh, to the let's go back here share data source is called sales.rds uh, and here if you see this is a we can go to design and click on the data sources and here sales is referencing to the sales RDS uh, and here is our data set name it is the data set one I don't like that part we can go ahead and change that one always uh, so we can call this one sale total now hit OK preview the report it looks what happened <laughs> it is then a block subtotal sale is invalid okay region is invalid the value name of the group or data set come and apply the hiding it is either the name of the group containing the current group to hide duplicates over the entire name of the current data set okay so th this is a, a, the when when we change uh, the name uh, of this uh, data set uh, what happened uh, the value data set one of uh, high duplicates property of text box region is invalid so there is a property that is used uh, in this uh, uh, column so region uh, that's where we have used that column or uh, that uh, has some property now it is uh, uh, not, not valid anymore because we have changed the data set name so let's go back to the uh, property uh, design and let's uh, take a look on the properties so if we hit uh, text box properties and uh, let's take a look uh, where exactly it is uh, saying uh, the properties uh, let me in this case let's don't take the properties of the um, this uh, cell ha press F4 and that will give us a text box of properties in detail we can go ahead and see hide uh, what was that hide the properties right so keep high duplicates so it was it is still using uh, the uh, data set uh, one so this is the property we need to use uh, and uh, in this case uh, we have changed uh, to the sale total so the name has changed um, I, I I assume it should change automatically if we are making the changes here but it didn't so anyways uh, you know, one thing we learned here if you are using the this block block uh, report uh, and you change the data set name in the uh, then uh, you need to take care of this part uh, in the stepped uh, report uh, I did change the data set name but it uh, did not uh, give me error because this property was not used there so th that's one thing we learned here now the report is ready what we can do we can go ahead and uh, just save the entire thing come to design save it to go to the properties of anything you can pre pre hit on that one and press F4 that will take you to the properties and uh, that's it uh, we, as we did for the to change uh, the property for the region and now what we can do we can go ahead and deploy this report so to deploy this report we have to click on the wizard report training project and go to properties and here uh, we have to provide uh, this the server name or sorry server URL so target server URL this is where we will be providing the report server URL so let me take that uh, report server URL and then I'm going to provide that here. Also, you have to provide uh, where uh, you will be deploying that uh, report. So here it is saying wizard reports training. That's fine with me. That will be the uh, folder that will be created if it is not there on the report server. And uh, that's where our report will uh, go. Now, this uh, what you are doing deployment here. Uh, why we are doing here? Because uh, we want to test our report at the report server and the users can take a look. Uh, but uh, in actual uh, 
um, project or the workplace, you will not be deploying the reports uh, uh, if you are not a DBA. You will be deploying the reports to maybe dev machine or to your local machine, fine, but you will not be deploying to production and UAT and QA. You will be providing this report to your DBA by using TFS or SVN, some uh, versioning control uh, software, and uh, you will check in your RDL and uh, RDS uh, uh, items, uh, so reports and uh, data, shared data sources and everything, and he will take from there and deploy to the report server. Now, anyways, uh, let's uh, hit apply, okay? Right click and say deploy. So now our report will be deployed. So first of all, it deployed the data source, and then it deployed the report. Now let's go to the report server and take a look. So we are at this interface called our PC backslash reports, and we can take a look. In the report server, you will be seeing a more like a directory structure and all that. And from here, you can also go ahead and run it. But to see more. Uh, reports and their folders and security most of the time you will be coming to this interface uh, called uh, the reports uh, underscore uh, SQL 2014 that's m in my case uh, uh, and in your case will be whatever your PC name or uh, the uh, and then you will have a reports uh, interface uh, and you will not be using the report server one so here uh, let's take a look uh, what we have here and uh, remember we have a wizard reports training and now that's where our report is now we can go ahead and take a look. Uh, the report is coming correct, uh, but a few things are missing here. Uh, if you see the names of these columns are coming in multi row, I will say, or uh, they are multi lines, uh, whatever you call this one. But what we need to do, we can expand a little bit uh, the width of these columns uh, and then redeploy the, our report. Uh, so let's take a look again. Go to design, go back here. Okay, we are expanding that part. Now we are good. Let's save the report, uh, go back here on the report, uh, and uh, then deploy. We can deploy single reports uh, from the project. You do not have to deploy the entire project. Uh, the project can have uh, maybe 100 of reports. You don't want to deploy that, all of them, if you don't need to. And uh, um, don't, you can right click on the report and just deploy it. Uh, let's refresh the report now. And now we can see that uh, the column names are coming uh, correct. So this is how you will be creating your block uh, report uh, with the subtotals. So thanks very much for watching this video. And I will see you guys uh, in the next video.